We're going to give you a sneak peek on the backstage for the cosplay competition. So this is where the cosplayers will come through. Uh, they're going to be here, they're going to stand on the X down there and then they will do a little strut down here where all the people will be in the studio. So that's going to be pretty cool. And we have Blue Chrome Batman's going to be in the mystery crate. We've got some events going on but we're going to be filming the whole thing so it's going to be great. So see you very soon. in the sky gazing far into the night i raise my hand to the fire but it's no use because you can't stop it from shining through it's true baby let the light shine through if you believe it's true baby won't you let the light Into the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through, it's true, baby let the light shine through, if you believe it's true, baby won't you let the light
Good afternoon everybody and welcome to Suffolk Supercon 2018. This is sponsored by Planet Laser so we have to thank them for obviously the sponsorship for that so uh, that's excellent. We're going to introduce you straight away to our judges because I always keep forgetting to introduce them. So the first judge we have is uh, Essex Ghostbuster. Would you like to come up and introduce yourself? How are we doing? Okay. Shame. Just tell them what you do. Well, I do. Well, clearly I'm a painter and decorator. <laughs> I'm a part of the charity group at Essex Ghostbusters. We've got a table outside. We're doing conventions up and down the country. We raise money for charity. We can book us for parties, events. And we come fully kitted out with everything you see here. Excellent. Everyone give him a round of applause, please. He's a <laughs> right, so the next judge that we have is Lewis. Lewis is a movie yeah. producer. Um, yeah, he just produces movies. Do you want to say much about the movies? Um, there's some good ones coming out, but I didn't think the joke would go this far. I'm an IT consultant. Um, I drove her here. Um, but I'm just the impartial part of the judges, so hopefully all shall be well. Enjoy. Everyone give him a round of applause. Thank you very much. So, um, our next judge, is Amy. Would you like to come up and tell them a little bit about what you do, Amy? Hello. <laughs> um, I am a cosplayer, obviously, but my Instagram is cliche cosplay, so a bit of a shameless plug, and that's probably it. I act like I know what I'm doing. There you go. Everyone give her a round of applause. Please. Okay, so contestant number one is The Punisher. He is from the Marvel Comics. Um, so this is his first time um, that he's felt that he's confident enough to be able to do cosplay. Um, he taught himself new skills while painting the parts and he's uh, always liked The Punisher and he hopes um, that this outfit does The Punisher justice. So, um, if, would you like to give him a little bit of a spin so they can see the back of your costume and everything? Oh. <laughs> There you go. Everyone give him a round of applause as he makes his way to the back of the So, contestant number two is Poison Ivy from the Batman DC Comics. Would you like to come in and show everybody your cosplay? There you go. You have to stand on the axe and do whatever you need to do to whip the judges over. Excellent. So, if we'd like to give him a round of applause as he makes his way to the back of the stage, and um, please make your way to the back, and we will call you up if you come in the top floor, okay? So next up we have the Green Lantern from the DC Comics. <laughs> Green Lantern, are you there? It's not Ryan Reynolds! <laughs> there you go, Green Lantern, would you like to try and impress the judges? Thanks very much. Everyone give us a round of applause as he makes his way to the back of the stage. Right, so we now have contestant number five. Contestant number five is Tinkerbell, uh, Grim Comics version. So would you like to come forward, Tinkerbell? <laughs> Tinkerbell, just do whatever you need to do to impress our judges. Would you like to give her a round of applause as she makes her way to the back of the stage, everybody? 
Judges, are you cool? Yeah, you're all good, yeah? You've not got enough spaces on there, so you won't have to write some in. We may do if we're going Okay, that's fine. Right, so next up we have contestant number six. Six. And contestant number six is Link from The Legends of Zelda. Would you like to come in, Link? Do you want to give us a little, uh, do you want to impress the judges? Want to do some act or? Sure. Excellent, everybody give a round of applause. Ready for contestant number seven? Yes. Yeah. Right, okay, so the next contestant is um, Nami, I think that's how you say it, from One Piece. There we go, so Nami, would you like to do the picture of the judges? <laughs> Attention to detail, judges. Okay, so everyone like to give her a round of applause as she makes her way to the back of the stage. Okay, are we all ready for contestant number eight? Yay. Are we all ready for contestant number eight? Yay. Right, so contestant number eight is um, B from the movie, or maybe B and Poppy, Puppy Cat, is that right? Oh. <laughs> hey, there we go. Right, so would everybody like to give her a round of applause? Would you like to make your way to the back of the stage and then we'll be for Okay, so we are on contestant number nine. So contestant number nine, we have another link from The Legends of Zelda, uh, Twilight Princess. Would you like to come to the stage? So Link had first started this cosplay in 2014, is that right? Um, and have been slowly replacing and changing things to make it how it is today, yeah? Yeah, so there you go. So it's a really cool outfit. Judges, would you like to do anything to impress our judges? Excellent. So if you'd like to just give us a quick spin, just on, there you go, just so everyone can see what your um, cosplay is like. So if you'd like to make your way to the back of the stage, everyone will give you a everybody. So we have got contestant number 10, and contestant number 10 is Sylvanas from World of Warcraft. Would you like to come away, make your way to the stage, please? <laughs> Would you like to do anything to impress the judges? Could you give us a little spin so everybody can just see the back of your costume? There you go, everyone. Excellent. So, um, yeah, it's a really good costume, actually. <laughs> yeah, come on, let's get the bow. Should we get the bow? Yeah. 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 Judges, are you, are you happy? So everyone give her a round of applause as she makes her way to the back and say, if you can fit that back there. Um, thanks very much. Contestant number 11. Uh, contestant number 11 is two people, I think, Matthew and Morgan Ollie. Um, they come as Fortnite characters um, from the game. Um, they are Ross Lord and Black Knight. So would you like to make your way to the stage, please? There you go. Guys, do you want to do anything to try and impress our judges to get yourself a good place in the final? <laughs> okay, so 90% handmade and already getting very hot to wear. So, there you go guys. So, would you like to give them both a round of applause as they make their way to the back of the stage? Would you like to do anything to impress our judges? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> judges, are you happy? Yeah. Okay, so would you like to give us a little bit of a twirl here just so everyone can see the back of your costume? There you go, so that's um, the cosplay there. So if you'd like to make your way to the back of the room. 
Next up we have someone very familiar. This is Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Hair all um, natural, no wig, so this is actually his natural hair. Um, yeah, so his boots are his very own as well, so that's really good. And he's going to do some bits to impress the judges. Judges, are you already impressed or do you want some more? I can watch Ace Ventura all day. There you go. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Both the contest. Then. <laughs> Here we are. If you need to, if and you pets, you know, don't have the power. Oh. <laughs> Shush you. <laughs> we see. Captain's log. We see. I. I don't want to see anything here. I got to find a boy. <laughs> <laughs> I think mean, that was very good, everyone. Do you want to give him a round of applause? Contestant number 14 is Jasper from Steven Universe. <laughs> it's a little performance for the judges, maybe a 12, so everybody can see your cosplay. In the name of the Diamond Authority, we will shatter all the crystal gems and take over the Earth! Very good, very good. Contestant number 15. Contestant number 15 is Spider-Man! Hey! 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 Hi everybody! I'm your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Uh, I know this isn't Queens, but uh, when Stacey said I could come to London when she went to the um, school here. So, I'm here to help out. I'll catch that. So there you go. Spider-Man has been allowed to come to our very first Suffolk Comic Con. So um, thanks very much for coming. Judges, are you, did you want Spider-Man to do anything? Do you want him to climb up on the ceiling? He can climb up on the ceiling. He wins, right? He wins, yeah. In that corner. Okay, everybody. So that's Spider-Man. Can we give him a round of applause? Our 16th contestant is Joker. Joker, would you like to come to the front of the stage? Would you like to do anything to impress our judges? You okay? Yeah, no worries. So everybody, do you want to just do a little twirl just so everyone can kind of get... There you go. Everyone be careful as the Joker makes his way to the back of the stage. Contestant number 17 is Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn would like to come and make your way to the stage. Woo! Would you like to do anything more to impress the judges? I'm already impressed. <laughs> there you go, so that was Harley Quinn. So everyone would like to give her a round of applause as she makes her way to the back of the stage. Okay, so this is another Vocaloid. I hope I say this right. So it's Gummy Megpoid, is that right? Could you make your way to the front of the stage, please? <laughs> Did I say it right? Uh, Gummy Megpoid. Gummy Megpoid. So would you like to do anything to impress our judges? <laughs> judges, are you impressed? Yeah. <laughs> would you like to give her a round of applause as she makes her way to the back of the stage? <laughs> is everybody excited for contestant number 19? <laughs> So, contestant number 19, judges, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, good. So, contestant number 19 is, um, I hope I say this wrong, uh, right, sorry, um, Ahsoka Tano from the Star Wars, The Clone Wars. Would you like to make your way to the front of the stage? Would you like to do anything to impress our judges? Um, I can stand it awkwardly. Okay, that will work. <laughs> Lovely, so do you want to give us a bit of a spin so everybody can see the back of your costume? There you go. Excellent. Would everybody like to give her a round of applause as she tries to make her way to the back of the stage? Okay everybody, so contestant number 20 um, is the third Doctor from Doctor Who. Would you like to make your way to the front of the stage? Um, he made the costume himself with lots of sewing bits on. Um, his girlfriend did the ageing makeup. So he doesn't actually look that, well, he's, he's actually younger than he's making out that he is, so. Would you like to do anything to impress? Would you like to go like forward in time? Reverse the polarity of the neutron flow. While I am the doctor. Everybody give him a round of applause as he makes the way to the back of the stage. Oh, 21 uh, contestants. <laughs> 21? 
21th contestant <laughs> is Joyce Byers from Stranger Things. Contestant number 22 is Brock and he is from Pokemon. He's got Onyx with him and he... Right hands! There you go. Oh yeah, there you go. Brock is a gym leader, um, he's got Onyx with him and he is Ash's personal chef and he was the cool guy. Everybody, put your hands together for Ant-Man and the Wasp. Contestant <laughs> number 23. Wait, wait, wait. Hi everyone, I'm Ant-Man, how's it going? Are you all having a good day? Yeah! Are you ready for the next movie? Whoa! Yeah! would you like to? Come on for high five. No, I'm off, you can't do the Hell Hydra. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, I'm Matthew from London. Can I give her a round of applause? Judges, are you happy if you want to do any more to your judges? Yeah, basically, um, these costumes I bought from the state, I've been doing dollars, but I've done a lot of work for myself, a lot of painting adjustments. Uh, I don't know if you can see like that. Uh, basically, these are uh, shoes you're going to want, so they're from Cyberdog, Camden Town. Uh, yeah, so that's all good. I'm ready for Ant-Man the Wasp. Are you ready for Ant-Man the Wasp? Yeah! Excellent, everyone give him a round of applause. Yeah! Our 24th contestant is Batwoman from the Bombshell. Woo! Would you like to make your way to the stage, Batwoman? Woo! Here we go. Would you like to do anything to impress our judges? <laughs> Whirling around is absolutely fine. Judges, are you happy? Would you yeah. like? Yeah. You good? Yeah. Our judges don't say a lot. But so, yeah. Can everyone give her a round of applause as she makes her way to the back of the stage? So we have Deadpool and Mistress Death from the Marvel Deadpool. <laughs> Guys, you can do anything you want to impress our judges. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 lovely. Anyway, thank you very much. So when everyone else gets around the floor, that was contestant number 25, Deadpool, Mistress Bear. Okay, so contestant number 26 is 02, Darling in the Franks. Uh, she is cocky, smirks a lot, doesn't play well with us. Would you like to make your way to the stage? Just coming. <laughs> Everyone want to give a round of applause? Is there anything you'd like to do to try and impress our judges? Oh, weak. And I want my darling. Where's my darling? Well, I think that's pretty good, everyone, didn't you? Contestant number 27, and he is Kung Fury from the Kung Fury movie. Would you like to make your way? We'll give him a round of applause, that was very good. I'd like to make your way to the back of the stage. Okay, so next up we have some fairy tale people, so... Um, so we have contestant number 28 is Alice from Alice in Wonderland. Here she is. What does everybody think? Good? Right, so Alice, um, have, judges, are you okay? Have you, did you want to do anything more to impress our judges? Okay, everybody, everybody, please give her a round of applause and she makes her way to the back of the stage. 
Okay, everyone, so next up, contestant number 29 is Belle from Beauty and the Beast. There we go, everyone. Would you like to give us a little twirl so that everybody can see your dress? Judges, would you like to do anything for our judges? So there we go, lovely. Okay, everybody, so we'd like to give a round of applause to try to squeeze through. You can wait out there. So still sticking with the fairy tale theme, we have contestant number 30, and contestant number 30 is Rapunzel from Tangled. <laughs> and a little round of applause. Is there anything you'd like to do for the judges? <laughs> judges, are you happy? Yeah. Are we happy? So all these costumes are handmade, so I think the other two that we just had as well, they were handmade, um, so they're very good. So these costumes that they've done are made by themselves, so could we give them a round of applause as she makes her way to the back of the stage? Okay everybody, we are now on contestant number 31. Contestant number 31 is the Green Arrow. Um, from Arrow, uh, season four, the Green Arrow. He is a local cosplayer, uh, Mark 13, cosplay and props, and he loves cosplaying. Um, his Green Arrow uh, was he, the first ever cosplay that he did. So, yeah, would you like to do anything to impress the judges? Try not to kill him because they will need to judge. <laughs> I failed this city. <laughs> there you go, everybody, the Green Arrow. So we're now going on to a bit of a magical theme. So we have contestant number 32. Contestant number 32 is Bellatrix from Harry Potter. And this whole costume was handmade. <laughs> Would you like to do anything to try and impress the judges? You're okay? <laughs> Lovely. Um, did you, did you, wait, can everyone just give her a round of applause? <laughs> Right, so we have two people left for this cosplay competition. We have contestant number 33 is Hagrid from Harry Potter and his costume is all handmade. So can we give him a round of applause for Hagrid? <laughs> so everybody, please be careful of his dragon, it does yeah, bite. Be careful. Would you like to do anything more to impress the judges? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, let's give them a round of applause for that. That's excellent. This is our final contestant for the cosplay competition. Uh, we have Batgirl from Batman. Would you like to make your way to the stage? <laughs> Would you like to do anything to impress the judges? Divine my own future, and one that is uniquely mine. Perfect, what do you think? Judges? Let's give a round of applause. Okay, everybody, so the judges are now going to be... Wasp is, Wasp, you can't participate, you're without man. Right, so with the judges, do you need a minute to tally up the results? Probably not a Give us a minute, we're just going to get the judges to add all these up and we're going to find out who's won. I'll quickly run through the prizes. So for the 18 plus, for first place, we have a photography package which is worth £160. Um, and then we have a Bleeding Marvellous £50 voucher also for the first prize, which is really good. So can we get a hell yeah? yeah. So on the second place prize, we've got a Suffolk Supercon £25 voucher that you will be able to spend here. So that's going to be... A really cool second prize and for third place um, we have a Suffolk Supercon official bear so you'll be able to win yourself a cuddly bear so you'll have something to cuddle at night so that'll be excellent I'm just gonna quickly go over to the judges to see if they've decided okay is everybody ready so for third prize 
this is a pink teddy bear, we understand, and if it ends up being a boy, maybe we'll be able to swap the prize out for something different, okay? So, uh, just to let you know that, you can take the teddy bear for now. Um, yeah, Deadpool would love that, yeah. So the third prize goes to contestant number nine, Link, the Legends of Zelda Twilight Princess. There you go, come and thanks your beautiful pink teddy bear. Everyone leave her a round of applause for coming from the So the second prize, which is the £25 voucher for Suffolk Supercon is going to contestant number 10. I can't remember how you pronounce it. But she won't do it. Okay. Congratulations. Everyone give another round of applause. That's a really cool question. Okay, so we are now on to the first prize winner. Is everybody ready? Can we say yeah? yeah? Drum roll. Drum roll please. And the first prize goes to Hagrid. Yeah. 